it's the best thing, puppy the piling, puppy piling isn't it? The best. I, I wish love I could it. just get in there and they I can know. do it in my face. I have to say, I could really watch them all day. It's the sweetest thing. Sometimes I wonder how they're breathing. Like, look at this guy wedged into that. <laughs> but he will be loving it. Oh, the best, the deepest sleep. Yeah. They would feel so safe doing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm losing myself in the puppy bar. <laughs> uh, G'day guys, so it's Wednesday and we would usually be running a daycare day today, but we're not running for the next uh, three trips. We've had a couple of public holidays. Two trips. Here. Well, two trips plus Monday public holiday. So the oh, next okay. three. Yep, sorry. Um, Yes, in, people internationally yeah. wouldn't wouldn't know that that was a public holiday. That's a good point. Yeah, so, um, you know, there's, first of all, uh, we're not running because uh, Rodney's left us. So I've gone out and got my heavy vehicle license and I'll start driving. I'll start driving as of uh, Wednesday next week, the 27th. It is a bit of a difficult job because you're always away from your family for your breakfast and dinners. So you miss out on those meal times with your family because you're on the road. Um, I know because I did it for 18 months when we first started the business. And at that time we had Elle as a baby and you know Sam felt like she was a single parent because um, I was just away the whole time and we was doing it five days a week. But um, we're pretty grateful that we're only running three days a week at the moment for me to get behind the wheel And it's not like you can just go and get another driver to fill the role and just drive on down the road That's only a very easy part of the job The difficult part is winning the relationships with all the dogs and getting the dogs to want to come with you onto the bus um, And to build that trust so that takes a lot of time so um, You know it usually takes about two months to train up uh, drivers so I'll be driving for at least the next two months um, and, you know, like I said before, there was a, a couple of days of public holidays in here after the Easter break. So really it's only two farm trip days that we've taken off. Um, but we've taken them off because with me being away in the mornings and afternoons, uh, we've got quite a lot of things that we need to organize and uh, make sure processes and people are in place to look after it all. So. First of all, we've got two new litters of puppies that turned up yesterday. We've got these guys here who are absolutely gorgeous. They are American Staffies and, you know, they were rescued from a case of neglect, unfortunately. Um, the parents would be here as well. However, the parents have been taken into um, custody while an investigation is going on uh, for the owners. So Dee was able to get the puppies out of that scenario because I think they hold them for quite a lot of time and these guys uh, got every chance of having a successful life. So they brought them in here. They're about three and a half to four weeks old. They're quite young um, and they are all very sweet. If they weren't sleeping, you would see they've got a mix of uh, eye color and they are very good looking dogs and they're um, so far quite a good temperament. So. Um, we've only had them for one day and they are quite young, but I'm looking forward to seeing their personalities come out and, you know, seeing that cheeky side and the adventurous side and um, as they start to grow in energy and, and coordination. Um, they are quite skinny. So at this stage, we're really just uh, focusing on giving them lots of love, cuddles. And as you can see, we are exposing them to the other dogs, but... Um, and food. Yeah, on, the, on yeah. the skinny note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I meant to <laughs> meant to keep going with that. Um, but uh, yeah, we're not actually letting the dogs interact with them at this stage, only because they are quite young and vulnerable uh, to accidental stepping, and you know, you don't want dogs to knock them over and that kind of thing. But they're very interested in the dog. They are they? very interested. Yeah. They, you can see that they're seeking comfort yep. from from the company yeah. of, of the dogs. Yeah. So it's very important to still have that kind of connection with them. Uh, with the other dogs and they're not showing any sort of fear or anything which uh, at this stage they shouldn't dogs this young should take everything 
uh, with a grain of salt, uh, unless they've had a ne negative experience. But these guys look like they're no trouble at all. Just a lot of bones here, the hip bones. So we're going to try and fatten them up and let them grow and develop. We've also got another litter of puppies, which are the Staffy Cross Kelpies. And two of them look uh, very golden, like a, like an Australian dingo, a wild dog. Um, but then the other two have definitely got the Staffy throwback with the um, different colorings. But they're, they are very sweet too. They're a little bit older, so they're gonna be, um, you know, able to interact a lot quicker with the, uh, the dogs that we've got here for both holiday pack, um, our own growing family pack, uh, and also uh, the daycare that will start coming up as well. Um, and as you can see, we, we do have quite a lot of dogs staying with us during the Easter break as well. So we've got a lot on um, and we just need to make sure that everything's in place before I start driving, which uh, takes me out from five in the morning through to nine o'clock at night. Um, so once everything's in, in place, which we should get everything going over this week, uh, I'll start driving as of next week, next Wednesday, and I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been driving down and, and doing this run, so I'm excited to see all uh, our doggy parents again and uh, have that catch up at the bus stop. It is a pretty, um, um, you know, informative time. We chat about how their dog went on the day, uh, catch up on what they're doing with their lives, how their training's going. Uh, it's also interesting to see how the dogs uh, are behaving for their owners. Maybe they won't want to know about this, but because <laughs> sometimes they're not as good as how they behave for me. Uh, but no, it's all good. I'm really excited to get down there and see everyone again and, and uh, catch up. So um, it's been a really long time, hasn't it's it? It's been, you know, I was just trying to think how long it's been. Four and a half years. But, yeah. And we only really catch up with um, our doggy parents at the Christmas party, but because of COVID, haven't been able to do I think we've missed couple. a couple. So, yeah. um, so it has been quite a long time um, that we haven't haven't had a face to face. So that'll be that'll be good to catch up with everyone. So just a quick update on all the dogs that are in our care from uh, the shelters. So we've already gone through the new puppy litters, the two new puppy litters. So that's uh, thirteen brand new puppies that are going into the puppy program. Uh, we also have our three big boys that are still here, Mr. Grey, Mr. Yellow, and Mr. Red. And I'm sure you've all seen that uh, their personalities and development have uh, come a long way, especially Mr. Red, who's uh, branching out from the comfort of his siblings to join in more independently with the play. Um, and, you know, they're still all looking for homes, looking for forever homes. Uh, we've also got the two boxers that we're fostering, Barney and Bailey from Boxer Network, uh, sorry, Boss, Boxer Rescue Network Australia. And they're both doing really well as well. Um, you know, Barney got desexed recently and so he had his recovery, but back into the pack again and running around, um, he's, uh, he's, started to be with the extra exercise he started to lose a bit of weight again so we've been putting some more weight on him trying to keep up with his energy levels but he's getting very strong he's getting very coordinated as he develops into a mature dog um, bailey's training's doing really well he's uh, starting to be a really confident swimmer not that competent but very very enthusiastic he's a typical boxer they sink in the back end and splash with their front legs uh, but he's very enthusiastic very confident in the water now which is fantastic that's what we want uh, loves the water loves jumping in after the toys uh, and we've also still got shadow here who is assimilating into the pack both the holiday pack and daycare pack very very well um, she's been uh, unrestricted in the everyday activities here at the farm for a couple of weeks now and you know really really happy with her progress and how she is so um, you know couldn't have hoped for a better outcome for, for Shadow from when she first came um, yeah, very impressed with with how much of a turnaround she's had. She's she's really relaxed, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, completely like, relaxed. Um, even for us, it it she does seem like a different yeah. dog. It's it's like she she went from the um, 
you know, very early beginner stages to the proving stage to, you know, the competent stage and then quickly just went straight through to, I'm going straight to, I do whatever I want, comfortable. <laughs> you know, if I don't feel like going out down on that activity, I'll just lie in the sun. Uh, I love it. I love that that's what she does. And then, you know, every now and again, we'll look around and go, where's Shadow? What's, what's Shadow doing? And we just look over and she's just sleeping in the sun, you know, just having a great time. Um, so she's gone to the, the elderly routine very early on. <laughs> so, Retirement plan. Yeah, yeah, she's like, oh, I'm happy with this. This is good. Um, then we got the four up the back still. So it uh, brings me to the fact that, you know, Shadow's moved from her room up the back. Uh, she's now moved to the house. And uh, from the four up the back, Chance has been showing the most progress. And so then he's gone into Shadow's room. And so Shadow, uh, he has that uh, big room up the back. Um, Roscoe would be next in line, doing really well, very, um, very good out running around, uh, very playful. Um, Nevaeh and Chance have formed a very good friendship. They're out running around, no muzzles on, having a great play. Uh, Nevaeh is still a little bit intense. Um, she she doesn't have any uh, personal space uh, issues at this point, uh, which is preventing her from getting a little bit more socialization time, uh, but doing well, still improving, uh, but a little bit more to go there. And Molly, she's doing very, very well for her formal training, um, but still has a little bit of a, um, an issue around the excitement of the other dogs and focusing on on the other dogs when they're running around so uh, the thing that's holding her up is uh, whenever she feels like she's done the wrong thing she completely retreats and wants to separate herself from the situation which isn't a bad thing it's a good thing however it does slow down her progress um, the ideal scenario would be um, getting her her doing something wrong me identifying that that's something she did wrong and her straight away going yep okay understood that and then wanting to go back in and do it again uh, or, or to keep being involved rather than separating herself and cutting off and saying okay well i'm going to sit out um, but all it is is just her getting used to the fact that um, you know she's obviously had a bit of a history with being in trouble and it not being a good thing however uh, here, she just needs to get used to the fact that it's just marking the baby out. Nope, not allowed to do that. Okay, let's move on and keep going. Um, and she just needs to get through that stage. But all in all, they are all doing very well. Um, I am really um, close to wanting to start doing some pairings together with those guys uh, and the other dogs. So once daycare's back, uh, it'll be very good to get them out here and socializing again um, a little bit more because they're they're all improving you know day and day um, I think that's about it for for the update for those guys yep. uh, did I miss anyone we've got the new puppies the two new litters the old boys we've got the four up the back we've got the foster dogs um, we got Shadow, we got all the holiday dogs, we got our dogs. There's a, there's a whole heap of different groups, but you know, adding up to a lot of work. Oh, it is a lot of work. A lot, a lot of feeding, a lot of, a lot of poop cleaning, and um, <laughs> a lot of training. Yeah, a lot of training, a lot of and socializing. A lot of, uh, dog bed washing. Yeah. Look at these guys, I can't wait till these guys start getting their training. Look at them. Look at this little lip here. Hello, mate. Oof, you're so cute. You're so cute. Hello, look at these bright blue eyes. Hello. But they're just as beautiful. <laughs> so, in summary, you know, there, there's always a lot going on here at the farm. Um, you know, uh, with Rodney leaving, it was a little bit uh, of a fast transition and we knew that there was no chance of putting on a new driver in that short period of time. So um, I was the only option to, to start driving and continue going with, with daycare. And 
Um, although it's you know quite a bit of uh, extra pressure on our workload, we always look for the silver lining in these things, and and we do feel like it's a it's a positive thing, and it's you know going to work out best for both parties. Um, you know, there is always um, the pressure initially, but. Uh, like we said before, I'm, I'm very excited to get back behind the wheel and get down to Sydney and see everyone. Um, it looks like everything's going to be uh, running smoothly back here while I'm on the road, so uh, it's all good. And we wish Rodney all the best. You know, I, I hope that um, his new job is a little bit better hours for him. And we also want to say a big thank you to everyone for all your positive support recently. Um, the last couple of months have obviously been, you know, very difficult, but also very rewarding. And we wouldn't have been able to do it without all your positive support and comments. And um, it's just been amazing. So thanks very much, guys. Uh, we look forward to going back to daycare uh, next week. Yeah. <laughs> They're right into this grass. And they're happy with it, aren't they? Yeah. Like those videos of when cows first see grass and <laughs> come out and start jumping around. Look at this little one with a tail going. <laughs> Chancy boy. Hello, mate. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Oh, 
Hello, beautiful boy. Hello, Mr. Yellow. More Ooh. for Mr. Ooh. Yellow. Oh. Okay. Hello, you're a bit big now. <laughs> Good deal, Miss Toilet. Good boy, man. Just relax. Just relax, man. It's all right. Just relax, yeah. Right. Hello, Mr. Red. Hello, mate. Good oh, boy. Good oh, oh, boy. Orange. Hello, Lola. Hello, Lola. Oh, Miss Lola. Hello, Lola. Oh, good boy, Mr. Orange. <laughs> he doesn't think it's a cinnamon scroll. He thinks it's a tail. Yeah. 
challenge. Good girl. Good girl, Molly. Good girl. Good girl, challenge. Good girl. You ready for a run? Good girl. Molly free. Ah! He loves the water, doesn't he? Yeah. And a beautiful girl. Good job, Rob. He's a big boy, isn't he? Next in line after chance. Yeah, yeah. I love his energy when he gets out. Every time he gets out, he wheezes on the gas bottles. <laughs> and I say, and he runs off and he turns around and looks at me and I go, G'day mate. And he comes down and back, G'day, how you going? <laughs> yeah, I love it every time. <laughs> Run, mate. We did a good run, mate. Let's go, boy. We did a good run, boy. <laughs> 